Good day and welcome everyone, Stuart here from Northern Bolt and Tool and today we've got a very interesting video on our table. So we've got two drill kits here, they're both identical in terms of specification except for one thing. This one is a 16 volt unit and this one is a 20 volt unit. So we'll unbox these, or we'll just flip them open, show you guys what they look like, what the differences are, some advantages and disadvantages just on the platform itself and then we're going to test them to see how they differ. Will the 16 volt be able to keep up with the 20 volt despite their specs being identical? When I say identical, I mean everything. RPM, torque, everything is exactly the same, guys. The, the truck, the, the clutch settings, everything is identical. So we're going to test the performance to see if the 16 volt unit is able to keep up with the 20 volt unit. So with that, let's open up these boxes and I'll show you guys what the differences between these two platforms are. All right, guys. We're going to open up these kits and as you can see this is the 16 volt unit it's a little bit smaller in size uh, in terms of the case size but also the batteries so the batteries and the platform that the batteries are are very different so this is the 16 volt battery and this is the 20 volt battery so the the platform difference is quite significant in making a decision in terms of purchasing these machines this battery there's very few tools that actually get powered by this particular style of battery in the Inco range. But there are quite a few Deca Keeler products that would be powered by this battery. So if you've got some Deca Keeler cordless tools or kitchen appliances, this will be good for that. Obviously, anything 16 volts in the Inco range would be powered by this, but the range is limited when you compare it to the 20 volt range. The 20 volt range is extensive. There are hundreds of products that are powered by this particular platform. So if you are looking to build an entire collection of Inco products, the 20 volt unit would be the one that we would recommend. Other than that, the batteries are pretty similar. These are rated at two amp hours. These are also two amp hour batteries in here. This kit comes with two, this kit also comes with two. The machines themselves look very, very similar, except for when you get to the handle section here. So the top half of the machine, as you can see, they look pretty much identical. This unit, the 16 volts, is an impact drill. This is a non-impact drill. So unfortunately, we won't be able to test that function, but all the other specifications are the same. So you can see here on the front, this is your battery indicator on the 16 volt unit. The 20 volt unit doesn't have that because the battery indicator is on the battery itself. So that's also something that's a little bit different between these two machines and units. But other than that, guys, the specifications, RPM, torques, all of that stuff is identical. So what's next is to charge up these batteries and get into some testing and see how they compare. All right, guys, both of these machines are rated at 550 RPM in gear one and 2000 RPM in gear two. So we're gonna test the 20 volt unit first on gear one and then gear two. Dead on 550, that's good. Two thousand and sixty, fantastic. Let's set up this one quickly and see what we're able to get. Gear number one with the sixteen volts. And we only got five hundred there, so ten percent down on the twenty volt unit. Now we're looking for 2,000. Let's see what we get. <laughs> 1,890. So quite a bit down on the 20 volt unit. Another thing that I've just noticed is that this particular unit doesn't stand very nicely. So it does tend to want to fall over if you've got something heavier on the front, just from this use and application here. So let's get into some torque testing and some speed testing and see if there's a difference. All right, guys, let's look at how much torque we're able to get out of these two machines. Got it in gear number one. We're gonna test the soft torque on these machines and see what we're able to achieve with them. Then forward, cool. Three, two, one. And that was 23 newton meters of torque. Let's rig up the 16 and see how it compares. All right, guys, we've rigged up the 16 volt unit. Gear number one for max torque, normal drill mode. Let's see what she gives us. Three, two, one. And 
and 15.1 newton meters of torque so quite a bit down i could feel it on the machine I wasn't pulling as hard and you can see i didn't drive this coach screw into the wood quite as much so yeah a little bit less torque on this machine let's move into the speed test all right guys speed test with the 20 volt units gear number two for speed in forward normal drill mode so we should be good to go three two one Here we go, let's get the 16 volt and see how they compare. All right guys, time now for the 16 volt unit. Everything is in forward, gear number two for speed. Three, two, one. There we go, let's check the times and make a comparison. All right guys, so there's the testing done and dusted. As you can see, the 20 volt unit makes quite a bit more torque, 23 newton meters of torque versus 15 for the 16 volt unit and then in the driving test it's not a super high torque application and you can see there was a slight difference and that comes down to pretty much the torque the rpms were a little bit lower on the 16 volt unit compared to the 20 volt unit but yeah about 5.1 seconds for the 20 volt unit and five and a half seconds for the 16 volt unit now in terms of pricing this is where it gets interesting so this kit here with the 16 volt with the two batteries comes in at around 1350-ish rand more or less. This 16 newton meter kit has actually been discontinued. This is an old piece of stock that we've got that we wanted to test to compare the two. But the 66 newton meter impact drill is the one that has taken the place of this particular kit. Now that kit comes in at around 1650 rand and we know that that machine is approximately 10% more powerful than this unit. We have tested it. We'll link the video in the description below for you guys to check that out if you would like to see the 60 versus 66 newton meter impact drill comparison. So is it worthwhile getting the 16 volt unit? I don't know. I think it's it depends on what your application is. If you're looking for something that is small and lightweight and you really need the more compact design of the battery, smaller design, then this is the unit for you. Likewise, if you have other 16 volt equipment, so there are food processes, etc., in the Inco range, but the Deca Kila is where most of those kitchen appliances lie. The batteries are interchangeable. If you've got a lot of those products, then this drill might be something that you'd be interested in. It is a good unit, but it just it falls a little bit short compared to the 20 volt drill. So with that, guys, uh, it just if it were me, I think I would stick to the 66 newton meter impact drill, to be completely honest with you guys. I wouldn't particularly buy this unit. Also, the limitation on the battery, I'm not able to use it on all the other tools. It is a little bit limiting having this type of battery set up on the 16 volt unit. So get the 20 volt unit, get the kit. We'll be running a few specials on these tools. So check out the description below for links to all of those products. They are available, all of these products are available online and in store. If you'd like to check them out on our site or come into the store and, and see them in person for yourself. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope we've shed some light on the 16 volt versus 20 volt debate. And uh, yeah, a very interesting result. I thought the tools would be a little bit closer to be honest, but that's the result we got. And um, yeah, it is what it is. So guys, I hope you guys are able to now make a more informed purchasing decision. And uh, I'll catch you guys again next week for more exciting reviews.